Hello, hello. Um, I am back after like a year. Um, I got lost in the Forgotten Realms with my friends, but I did ma manage to make it back um, right as this beauty arrived at my doorstep. So, as you may have guessed, today's video is a first impressions of the new Samsung Z Flip 4 phone. Um, uh, I did buy this with my own money, so don't get mad at me. Um, I have wanted this phone ever since Samsung has released its Z Flip line. But of course, there has been issues with the Z Flip phones in the past. The first one was a total flop because um, they released essentially a prototype. The second one um, had battery issues, which was known as the Z Flip 3. But the Z Flip 4, which is technically the third Z Flip in their lineup, this is what I ended up getting. It has a 12% more, uh, bigger battery, and so far so good. My first impressions of this phone were that I find myself using a, like it way less. I am an avid Twitter and TikTok user, um, and unfortunately that does take away a lot of my time and makes me procrastinate. But there is some weird mental barrier that having a phone that can open and close, um, it creates almost like this this mental barrier where I don't feel like opening it. It's now like an extra step for me to go and check my socials and things like that. So for some people that might be a good thing, for others if you're a content creator that's probably not the best thing. But this little screen is so handy. I don't need to open my phone to see what the notifications are and with the Z Flip 4 Samsung has actually given you way more options for little widgets that you can put on the screen here. So I have the time, uh, you can play music, I've got that, I have the weather, um, an alarm, uh, a timer and a calendar and there is more options that you can um, that you can customize as well. The one thing I find people talking about a lot is the crease. And while it is off and you just see the screen, it is quite obvious. You can obviously see the line where the hinge is, but when you're actually using the phone, it practically disappears and you can only really see it from a certain angle. But if you're just using your phone, you're not going to notice it as much, especially if you're using it in this kind of mode, I find that it kind of almost resembles a book and your brain automatically crops this bit out. In terms of the cases that Samsung offers, I did do a review and I'll link that down in the bio. Um, I probably would not recommend this specific case where it's the, um, like that soft feel plastic, just because it's such a dust magnet. I bought this phone because I wear women's clothing and I've always wanted a phone that can actually fit in my pocket. But with this case, if I put it in my pocket, it collects all of the lint that has ever existed in that pocket for the past two years that I've owned that piece of clothing. It is disgusting. I take it out and it's like I've taken it out of the cellar. And for a phone that um, has, well, it, when you boot this phone up, it does tell you what not to do. and Unfortunately, the hinge is still not dust resistant, which I hope is something that Samsung will fix in future models. But it's almost weird to me that they didn't foresee this happening. This soft feel is really nice, but with all the dust it collects, I almost worry that it's actually going to like, you know, be the reason the hinge breaks, you know? Um, but otherwise, I will let you know how it goes. I have high hopes for this phone. Um, as Samsung did fix the battery life and that was the biggest issue for me in the past. Um, my previous phone had 5,020 million amp, what is it called? Million amp hours? A million powers? Million amp <laughs> So my previous phone had 5,020 milliamp hours of battery life if I'm correct. And I had that phone for two years and obviously the battery life has gone down since I first bought it. Um, and surprisingly, this phone only has 3,700 and it has done better than the phone I've had for two years. Um, but then also it does have a more efficient processor um, and 
uh, just overall when you buy a luxury phone, you do get the top of the line um, technologies and things like that. But I'm, I'm very curious to see how the battery life holds up. I, I need a big battery life and so um, I'm just hoping that um, now that I am um, discouraged to, you know, open my phone and constantly scroll Twitter or TikTok, um, that it will hopefully help with the battery life. But yeah, um, if you have any questions about this phone or my experience with it, feel free to leave me a comment because um, I, I'll answer it for you. It's a very big investment. It, it costs a lot of money. And so I definitely want to make sure that you guys have all of your questions answered before you commit to buying this phone. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye guys.